I'm, I'm confused. Is that a weave? Is that your real hair? Bundles, bundles, bundles. Hit that plug up for the bundles. What's up guys? So today I am back and today is all about this hair that I have in. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you see my Instagram live when I actually apply this wig and put it on. Um, I just came from the gym, so that's why I have this wrap on. Um, but today, if you've seen the thumbnail, you already have an idea of the style that we're going to be doing today. So this hair is from a company called Miss Coco Hair. Um, and I believe they're an AliExpress company. Um, and I got their body wave wig and it is a 360 wig. So not only does it part all around in the front, it also um, can be parted in the back and pulled up into a ponytail as well. Okay, so today I'm gonna attempt to do like a butterfly braid style. So let me turn on my hot comb and we're gonna get this parting together. So my edge is coming up because I was working out and I was sweating a little bit, um, but that's fine. I'm just going to take this comb and try to part like in front of the track, you know, the closing track that's like right there. I'm going to part right in front of there. Okay. I'm going to comb all this this way. Then I'm gonna comb all of this around the back. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna take the hot comb and just kinda press the hair into this direction. Taking the part out and everything else. Okay. So, along with that, I'm going to comb the rest of this forward as well. And I know this looks crazy right now, but bear with me. It's kind of hard to do when I can't see. This hair is all in my eyeball. Side note, do y'all see how bomb this lace is? I didn't do anything to it. I just cut the lace and I plucked it a little bit. Don't be like me and pull up extra lace that you don't even have to. Um, but I'm going to fix that. So as I'm braiding, I want to keep the braid on my forehead. I'm gonna part down to my ear and throw that hair in the back. Now, once you get to the bottom, you can kind of just clip that away. Now, I'm going to take this section right behind the ear and kind of to the nape. And I'm going to pull that to the front. And I'm going to clip that in with the end of the braid as well. So, we're going to clip these two together. Then I'm going to start on this side. Now y'all know I can't cornrow, so bear with me. But if you can cornrow, this should be very easy for you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try and do it this way. 
to start from the top up here. And begin to braid. And I'm just braiding it straight down right now. And I'm gonna bring it around to the other side. Braid from this side for as long as I can. And I'm gonna come around from the other side. Okay. I'm gonna hold these three pieces. And Bring that around and try to continue the braid. I feel like the back doesn't matter that much because you can't really see all of it, but yeah. Okay. I'm gonna bring this all the way as far as I can. Once I do that, I'm gonna take everything apart. And I'm gonna grab that piece there and braid all of these together. gonna do is literally tease out the pieces of the braid to make it like messier so you just pull it on the strands and this is what gives it the butterfly effect just pull on the strands in the brain. And like I said, this wig gave me zero problems, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix the lace and I'll come back. Um, really quick, um, I mentioned it a little earlier, just briefly. Um, I just want to say that Miss Coco honestly has some of the best lace that I ever received on a, you know, already made unit. It was the perfect color of my skin tone. So a lot of times like companies try to make the lace a little darker for the people. Who, who, who their main customers are, which are, you know, black women, black African-American women. Um, and a lot of them have trouble actually getting the right lace color. So for me, that was like a super big plus. And I'm not sure on their website if they have actual lace color options. Um, but I'll check and see. But this is the braid the hair I think I did okay since I can't really cornrow in the back but it's really about the front and I'm loving it um, but if you can't cornrow like me what you can do is actually wrap the braid like so and create you like a little side bun bun so I'm just gonna take this scrunchie and these are my favorite kind of scrunchies. You don't have to use this kind. And kind of just pull out some pieces in the bun. But honestly, because I can't corn roll, it's kind of coming out in the back because the hair is so silky. So I'm going to try something else. I'm going to leave. Uh oh. I'm going to leave the braid in the front. I'm gonna brush the rest of the hair around. Okay, create a ponytail. 
and I'm gonna leave the braid out of the ponytail. Put the ponytail like on the side, but kind of to the back, okay? Like that. And this braid's coming loose a little bit. So I'm gonna catch the pieces and tighten it up. And I'm going to take the braid and wrap it around the ponytail holder and try to cover it up as much as I can. And if you want to, you can wrap the ponytail. Okay, you can add curls or whatever else you want to. This is just gonna be something like quick and cute for class though. All right, so this is the finished look. I actually put the ponytail over here, but I ended up having it on my shoulder on this side. I think it looks better for the opposite sides, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. What do y'all think? Comment below, let me know. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next one.